So we can look at the node analytics. Flex image bloom 10 times faster, ladies and gentlemen. YouTube, uh, what's going on? Uh, I'm Ryan, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm gonna tell you about something new I built for Comfy UI. It's a comprehensive profiling suite. Uh, so what, what it will do is it will tell you how long your workflows take to run, how long each individual node takes to run, what resources these nodes take to run, and it will archive this data and show you trends about it over time. So, you know, uh, this was inspired uh, by Chris Tools. Uh, you might have used them. Um, he, he has like real-time performance monitoring, which is so useful. But what I needed was to figure out which node, which nodes were the problem. So this, th that's why I made it. it was really so I could help myself with node development, but this will also be particularly useful for those with, with uh, lighter weight computers, uh, like the one I am using right now. Um, and also those who just develop a ton of workflows and it, may, maybe you just need to trim down the amount of time that you spend waiting and, uh, and playing doom while you wait for the freaking K sampler to finish running. So let me tell you a little bit about it. You can download it. It's called comfy UI profiler X profiler X, and you can download it through the manager or by visiting the GitHub which I will link in the description. I'd also, you know, you feel free to give me a star when you're here. Also, dude, subscribe to the channel because we're uh, we're chilling and the, the more the merrier. We'd love to have you over here. So you install it via the manager, via the Git URL, restart Comfy UI, refresh the browser, and bang, you will be presented with this button, this profiling stats button. And when you click it, you'll be presented with this slick four tab interface here. So I'll just go through this briefly. Um, here's the latest workflow run. You can see it took 78, almost 79 seconds to generate a single image on the on this computer of mine. Let's go ahead and, uh, and run this so you can see that latest workflow value update. Um, so yes, 78.83 seconds for the latest run. You can see it lists the node type, the time, VRAM, RAM usage, etc. All sortable. Okay. And here, here's our newest, our latest workflow run. Since it didn't repeat these nodes, it didn't profile it didn't profile them because there was no data to be had. You can see it only took 17 seconds there. It was really the this thing took the bulk of the time, is what we just learned from that. So that's the the latest run tab can can be kind of useful if you leave the computer and come back or something. I don't know, just useful to have. Historic historical trends. So you can see I have it filtered for, and this is workflow performance trends. You can see I have it filtered for data for the last hour. I just have these two examples that I ran for this um, YouTube video here, but we can extend it to like twenty four hours. You know, let's see see some trends here uh i guess that's all that's in this current current uh profiling uh, archive but next tab is the node analytics tab and this is particularly useful i think because it will tell you um which node sucks the worst like which one is taking the longest so if you're a no node developer maybe you can focus on improving its performance if you're a workflow developer maybe you can god forbid find a faster node if, if it's really that big of a deal or just fine-tune the settings to really um see if you can improve performance with without uh losing any quality uh but yeah i this is this is one of the primary reasons that i made it was so that you could see no per node information finally we've got this settings tab and it's pretty sparse but uh, this is a, 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 a limited way to manage the data. There's this archiving system. So you can see I've got four profiling uh, archives here. So imagine you've got two workflows and you need to A-B test them or, or you're A-B testing like certain nodes or something, like certain node setups. 
you can archive the current history. Uh, let me. Okay, so I'll 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 get to that eventually. I had to I had to switch tabs to get it to refresh. But you can see we now have five in the list instead of four, and they're time stamped. So this is the one we were just looking at. Let's bring up a different one. Load selected. Okay. Now, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now this is tight. Okay, so this one doesn't really have any. Let's pick a different one. Oh, it was only 16 kilobytes. So it means I it's probably like one of the ones from my testing. Let's see here. Oh. Dude, oh, that's why. Okay. So it's like probably from like two days ago or something. So I was like, why is there no data here? It's because it's from forever ago. So I just had to select all time to be able to view it. Maybe there's a better way we can handle that. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, I'd be happy to make updates. Or or you can contribute uh, on GitHub. Just make a PR, make sure it's well documented and easy to review and, and, I'll, and I'll check it out. All right. So that's the gist of it. We've got uh, workflow level information. We've got node level information. We've got some simple archiving functionality so that you can, you know, reduce the amount of data loaded into the browser, for instance, or importantly, A-B test different setups. Yo, editing Ryan here. You can tell time has passed because I lost my hat. I finished recording that video and went back to working on version two of my node uh, suite, which uh, will be at least a 10x improvement. Uh, I'm really looking forward to releasing it and sharing it with you guys. Uh, it's it's insane. But I figured I'd show you this real world use case because I'm trying to improve the performance of this Flex Image Bloom node. So what I did uh, is I ran this workflow here four times on four copies of this image to get, and I know that's a small sample size, but I'm hoping that I have improved the node to such a degree that it will be apparent even with this small sample size. So you can see I ran the workflow four times. Here's like a misfire, like, you know, I clicked the button twice or whatever. Um, so what we're concerned with here is uh, flex image bloom average of 10.387 seconds so i've just applied updates to the code and restarted comfy ui and then started recording this video so what we're going to do is archive the current history so we have it here now we've got a fresh slate and we're going to run this oh my god that is way faster yo hell yeah um and you know, I'll have to A, B test the quality as well, but I really think that it's just faster. I, I just moved everything to, it's all GPU accelerated now. So I'm just going to change this value as I did in the first tests. I just want to, you know, it's, it's so obviously faster, guys. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, but just for good measure, we're going to take the right sample size. So we can look at the node analytics. Flex image bloom. 10 times faster, ladies and gentlemen. All right, back to that other Ryan uh, to close it out. Thanks. Bye-bye. Um, and I'll just show you. You don't need to know this, this next part, but I'm going to show you. This is what the data looks like. So, you know, when I, when I archive those profiling histories, they just go in this little archives folder, and then this is the active one. That doesn't really matter, but it will store all of this data. So if you wanted to, you could perform your own uh, more advanced analytics. I'm also happy to collect other data. Um, if any, you know, leave that in the comments. Um, if you think anything else would be useful, um, I'm happy to, uh, I'd be happy to improve this. I want to give a shout out to Chris Tools. You, y'all, if you're interested in like performance and stuff, you might have used his notes before. They're like real time, uh, system monitoring nodes check them out it's what inspired this so he'll in real time will show you the vram usage and ram usage i just wanted a granular way to be able to tell what was using this and analyze it over time so <clears throat> shout out chris tools uh if you find this to be interesting or useful or whatever uh i'm glad so thanks for watching i'm still uh i'm still ryan okay bye